as part of their ongoing campaign to inflict misery on decent people trying to get to work, to school and to hospital appointments, odious middle class climate lunatics have managed to injure a police officer whilst once again attempting to block the M25 motorway. This injury occurred when two lorries and a police motorbike crashed into each other due to these eco-terrorists invading the motorway, climbing to the top of gantries and locking themselves there. So now these fringe extremists are willfully causing physical harm to people in order to achieve their political aims. And that's fascism, isn't it? That's what these disgusting people are. Terrorists. Fascists. And of course, they think it's all perfectly justified because they believe that they're the good guys. They believe that they're saving the planet. Just Stop Oil have been involved in the daily dangerous disruption of road networks and nauseating acts of vandalism since the end of September now. Police officers have had to work an additional 9,400 extra shifts at huge expense to the taxpayer, whilst real crimes, thefts, muggings, assaults, rapes, murders go uninvestigated. And how many of these Just Stop Oil terrorists are currently in prison? Five. Just five of them. Pathetic. Useless. These people are not protesters. They're terrorists. They're knowingly engaging in the large-scale physical endangerment of road users, and they've been allowed to do so unimpeded by impotent authorities. And why are our police forces and our judiciary unable to effectively hold these criminals to account? Because these eco-terrorists share the same agenda as our creepy globalist overlords. Each and every one of these grotty Marxist bedwetters is a dirty little minion of Klaus Schwab and his Davos nonce club. How can we expect our Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to do anything about Just Stop Oil when he's off at the COP27 Sharm El Sheikh scumfest schmoozing with all the world's most corrupt, immoral, self-serving criminals, ingratiating himself with the global elite by throwing away 11.6 billion pounds of UK taxpayers' money on climate reparations for developing nations. Of course, he only became Prime Minister by being a traitor to his own political party and its members, so it's no surprise to see him now being a traitor to the entire nation, happy to run this country into the ground as long as he secures a place for himself at the table of the global elite. These eco-terrorists will cause more injuries and they'll place an increasingly greater strain on police resources, they'll go unpunished, and then the government will hammer us all with more green taxes. These self-righteous, middle-class, faux-liberal, climate-obsessives indulge their rampant narcissism and do exactly as they please, unimpeded. And the rest of us have to pay the price for it as usual.